Rhonda Hayes had only lived in Korokai a few years when record-breaking flood water destroyed her home. It's been turned upside down. Shortly afterwards, she was dealt another devastating blow. She lost her house in the floods and then two weeks after she lost her son, um, he had a tumour. Okay. Rhonda's story struck a chord with Miles Phillips, who put his own life on hold to rebuild hers from the ground up. I've just treated it just as if she was my own family, pretty much. Nice and dandy. He was joined by another volunteer, and together they've spent more than a year rebuilding Rhonda's home. I started off with I wanted to back my mate, and then um, it's sort of developed into um, a bit of a friendship, and now a family thing with Rhonda. So yeah, she calls us her sons. Um, we consider her our, our mum. Um, even though we've got one, we've got two now. <laughs> Rhonda saw some of the early repair work, but the finished product would be a surprise. As her time in temporary accommodation approached its end, an army of volunteers stepped in, eager to get things ready for the big reveal. It's really nice to see like the transformation from where it was to where it is now. More than a year in the making, the big moment finally arrived. My gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's my home. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, Lordy. This is your bedroom. Remember the mud was up to here. <laughs> there was no lights in my tunnel a year and a half ago. So amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I'm very emotional. I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't. An emotional return proving there's no place like home. Leah White, ABC News, Korokai.